Hello, my name is Alan Beach, and I'm here to talk to you about tires today. Tires are an incredible marketing tool that can put customers in your shop all day long, especially when you advertise them on, on different medias. They can bring customers in like no other product can. The problem is, is the incredibly low margin that you sell tires at. And to be competitive, you have to have a lower margin. So the purpose of today's video is to tell you how you can achieve a much higher margin by doing a couple of things. So stick around to the end of this video and I'm gonna tell you how you can be achieving the better margin when selling tires. The problem when you advertise tires is clients, especially first time clients, think that tires are round and black and they're all the same no matter where they buy them from. And as a result, the clients are concerned with three things. They're concerned with the price of the product. They're concerned with the speed of the service, how fast you can do the service or the time related to it, and the value that they receive or the quality of the product. So let's break down a standard sale of an eight, this $800 sale. And we can see out of this sale that we've made $277 worth of gross profit. So $277 isn't bad, but when you look at the peaks and valleys of the tire industry, you realize that it's very difficult to keep staff long-term when you're dealing with these peaks and valleys. So how can you increase the margin on that sale and increase the $277? A couple of things. Number one, don't sell into a competitive market. If you have a retailer down the street that's selling Michelin and they're much bigger than you are, maybe it's not worthwhile to sell that product. Maybe you should be choosing Goodyear. Maybe you should be choosing Continental as a competitive product because they're not selling that product and you can make a higher margin. So number one, choose the brand that you're selling. Number two, talk to your tire distributor about being involved in a buying program. Oftentimes, they have these buying programs that you can participate on with very little to no branding. And that way you can participate and you can get year end rebates or even monthly rebates back from the distributor and the supplier. The other thing I want to talk about, and this is the biggest thing, is how you can include your profitable programs that you sell and when you sell these profitable programs, it not only affects the, the margin that you make, and I'm going to talk about what these profitable programs are, it also contributes to client loyalty. Remember, 70% of your first-time clients do not return. So when you get a client in the door and you sold them a set of tires, it's essential that you get them to come back. So what are the additional services that you could be offering? Well, they're your mainline services that you offer day in, day out. Let's pick up the first one, the inspection of the vehicle. And I encourage you to be doing a DVI inspection because that's the profitable way and it demonstrates to the client that you're technologically advanced. And it demonstrates to the client that you do those services. So have a look at here. And let's say out of that, you pick up $100 worth of service doing a DVI. The second thing I want you to be talking about is doing an alignment inspection. I strongly recommend that you do an alignment inspection on every tire sale. Realize that 60% of vehicles on the road today could benefit from an alignment. So do the alignment check and you'll be blown away by how many actual sales that you'll get out of this. The third thing that I want you to be thinking about is think about marketing an additional warranty that covers road hazard, that covers rotation, anything that will bring the client back into the, into the shop for service. That will run anywhere between $79 to $129. So you can see here from the chart that I've done a breakdown of each one of these services and the gross profit involved on it. And you can see here it would generate an extra $222. So when you add this to the $272 that you made on the tire sale, you could potentially make $499 of profit on a simple tire sale. And the bigger thing is you get the client to come back for your additional services and you've demonstrated to the client, and hopefully they won't be one of the 70% that doesn't return, and that you can get this client to become a loyal client to your business. So I hope you've liked the content in this video. If you have, I would love to hear your comments in the section below. And 
If you've liked this video, please subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified when other videos come up. I hope you have a great day.